Hello my fellow family foodie friends, it's Jackie and welcome back to my week of grocery hauls and I'll share with you at the end our meal plan and all the yummy dinners I plan to make with these foods. And if you're new around here, I'd love to have you stick around. I share the foods that I love to eat and when I eat them. I do follow an intermittent fasting lifestyle. I'm the only one in my family, of course, that does it, but I share the foods that I love to eat and I don't have a special diet or anything. I just eat in a restricted time frame within the day. It works really well for me. It makes me feel really good. And I look forward to sharing not only food, but my intermittent fasting journey with you. So I'd love to have you stick around. Now let's get to the groceries. My husband asked me to pick up some off-brand cola, so I got him the cans from Sam's. I have milk for cereal, drinking. I was gonna do the two half gallons, but that wasn't an option this week. It's easier to store half gallons than a gallon, but you know, I'm not super picky. I have root beer. I am making root beer pulled pork. The funny thing is, I got my root beer. I got my yummy buns, and I, <laughs> didn't get my pork. They didn't have it. So I'm gonna have to either hopefully get it at Aldi or run to a different store strictly for pork, but we will survive. I do know that. Late summer into fall, I buy a lot of apples. They're really good price. We have lots of apple orchards around here and they're grown natively in Michigan. We're one of the top producing apple states and they're very inexpensive. So they're great to snack on. We make applesauce and this week I'm making a crock pot apple crumble. We love apple crumbles and I'm excited to have something I can just set before dinner, have it ready whenever we want our dessert. I have lettuce for salads as sides for dinners. Um, I got a red pepper just for my kids to munch on. I, you know, try to change up vegetables. I buy a lot of cucumbers. I have one of those just to munch on. A green pepper. I am making a Wendy's copycat chili. My daughter, son, and I love chili, and I haven't made one yet this fall, and I'm going to use a Wendy's copycat recipe. I have corn. This is going to be when we have pulled pork. I'm going to make corn for my daughter, and... A lot of times if I have like a meat based dinner like pulled pork I'll make her something that is a little more filling on the side and then whatever corn we have left over can be used to top our tacos. My oldest daughter, she's 10, is a vegetarian, does not like meat whatsoever. I got two pack of pie crust because I have pumpkin that I bought last week. I had no plans for it, but now I'm gonna make a homemade pumpkin pie. It just sounds really good. Even though I make pie crust quite frequently when I make pies, sometimes I just don't feel like it. So I'm using a pre-made pie crust and then I'm gonna just make the pumpkin filling. Last week we got this unicorn sparkle ice cream and it was gone after my husband's birthday. So I got it again just to have in the freezer as an option. And they don't always have the circus cookie available, but I decided to get that as well. My kids and my husband like to eat ice cream regularly. I got this for tacos, the guacamole salsa. We really enjoy that kind of a verde salsa. Diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, and the beans are for the copycat Wendy's chili. I also have um, ground beef frozen from when we bought a portion of a cow that is in my freezer, so I have my ground beef for that. I tried buying like a squeeze packet of shells and cheese and I was substituted for these two. I probably would have said no, but I was in a rush and I didn't want to wait for them to make my substitution. So I just took it. We'll eat it eventually, but it probably won't be part of our dinner. I was going to have that as a side this week, the shells and cheese, again, for my non-meat eater. Something a little more and something easy. Heavy cream. I'm going to use this to make whipped cream for the pumpkin pie. Also, I just like to have it for hot chocolates, coffees. You guys know I try to keep heavy whipping cream on hand at all times. In my opinion, it's like a staple ingredient in our kitchen. I got broccoli for a side. I've never been given this much fresh broccoli when I order it before, so I'm a little disappointed how little came because that is enough for like me and me alone. Onions, I got a bag of onions because I needed them and I use onion in and on everything. I love onion and two of my three kids are onion fiends like me. My middle daughter, not so much. Again, I already showed you these yummy bakery buns for the pulled pork, the pork that does not exist. I'm out of honey, so I needed to get more, almost out of honey, I guess. Um, for the pulled pork, it goes in the crock pot. Part of the recipe calls for barbecue sauce, and the only great value one they had was honey, so that's what I got. I'm almost out of extra virgin olive oil, so I just got one of those for when I run out. Last week when I made fajitas, I used the rest of my coriander. I'm getting this as a replacement. I don't really have any need for it, but they only sell it in the organic, so. 
Sweetened condensed milk is for the pumpkin pie recipe that I'm going to make. It's not my recipe. I found it on Pinterest, of course, but you know, yummy, yummy, yummy. Celery. Celery is another thing that I keep on hand. I use it in a lot of base of soups, it's something my kids will munch on as a vegetable side. And I do need it for the copycat Wendy's chili that's going in the crock pot. And finally, last, also least, cat litter. I've never bought this brand, Kitty Diggins, but it was substituted. I tried to get the Walmart version and this is what they gave me instead. So I have no idea if this works good, but it's probably a little bougie compared to what I normally buy because it's natural, dye-free, perfume-free, and perfect for allergic and sensitive cats. Well, my cats are not sensitive. And if they are, I am a bad cat owner because I don't know. So this is what $50.04 bought me from Walmart this week. And now we will get to the very small Aldi haul. Okay, I have cilantro and green onion. Um, one of the potential meals on our meal plan this week is tacos. If you remember in the past, I've talked about making taco meat, how I make it fine like Taco Bells and I freeze it in dinner sized portions. I'm all out. So I have three pounds of ground beef in my freezer that I will turn into taco meat. Anyways, we're having tacos this week, and I pretty much love to keep cilantro and green onions on hand. They add flavor to pretty much everything, and for a combined total of like $1.10 during the week, really good to have in my, my veggie drawer. I keep them. I have broccoli because we are having loaded baked potatoes this week. I am going to make the baked potatoes in a crock pot. I will have cheese in a smaller crock pot, and all together... Or then my family can make their baked potatoes how they want. And I'm also making it after I make chili this week. So then people like me can put chili on top of their baked potato. Delicious. I got pumpkin spice granola and almond milk because this has been something that I've really looked forward to opening my eating windows with. I love granola with almond milk and I haven't had it in quite a while. But then when I saw this pumpkin spice granola, I knew it was a perfect time to get some. And I also can use the almond milk in a different recipe, but I only need a half a cup of some sort of milk. So I'll just use the almond milk. And this pumpkin spice just looks so delicious. So when I talk about eating one meal a day, I don't eat just like a single plate, but I'll have like a snack, think of an appetizer, then I'll have my dinner, and then I might have dessert even later. So this is something I'll probably be opening my window with a few times this week. One of my very first... I have apple cider here, me and the kids, and even Matt, our whole family, we love apple cider. A cold apple cider is like happiness in a cup to me. I don't know if I've ever told you guys, but my first job when I was 13 was working at an apple orchard, and one of the perks was we got to eat as many apples as we wanted, as many donuts as we wanted, and drink as much cider as we wanted while we were working, and it still is a very nostalgic, very happy taste to me. And I drink lots of cider. I ate lots of Honeycrisp apples. And you better believe pumpkin donuts were integral in my weekend diet. I've gotten bananas, orange juice concentrate, and berries because my kids love, two of my three kids love having berries every morning. Not every morning, but most mornings. And so those are the basis of our smoothies. I like to use orange juice concentrate because then I don't have to keep a, a carton of orange juice. I just put a scoop in there and add ice and water. And it's a great addition to smoothies. Gala apples. Apples were only $1.49 again for this um, three pound bag. We are actually going to be going to the apple orchard to pick apples soon, but I love to have these on hand and I really don't think we can have too many apples because we make applesauce, apple pie, apple crisp, dried out apples, apple leather, snack on apples. You get the idea. We like apples. We just ran out of Crisco. My husband made muffins and he used every last bit of our shortening. And I went fancy and got the pre-measured kind because I hate measuring Crisco out of a tub. It was definitely worth the premium. It was like 50 cents more to get this and you got less, but I really don't care. It's worth not putting it in a measuring cup. Grapes are only 85 cents a pound, so that was the uh, another fruit that I chose to have this week. I always buy the least expensive fruits that my kids will eat, and they like grapes, so I'll just wash these and pull out the bowl every meal until they're gone. It really works well. I tease that I'm starting to stack up for the winter. I tease that I was starting to stack up for holiday baking. I got two things of sugar, 
two cans of pumpkin. I also bought two cans of pumpkin last week. I, I love pumpkin. Um, I love pumpkin pie especially. So I'm going to be sharing a recipe for that soon. But I also got evaporated milk, sweetened condensed milk. Especially in the winter when baking is a lot more prevalent or even fall. It's very cool here now. Um, I just like to keep those two on hand for anything that might pop up. So this is the start of our holiday baking cupboard stack up. I also did stock up on tomato sauce. I don't have any plans for this. I might use one in chili. I have everything for my chili. I got it from Walmart, but I can only buy four cans of tomatoes right now at my Aldi. I don't know if that's everywhere, um, but I'm used to like when I want to buy tomatoes, just buying whatever I want. Walmart is very iffy on if they have things in stock. So when I had the ability to buy four of these, I got four. I got 10 pounds of tomato, or 10 pounds of potatoes. Not only are we make, making the baked potatoes like I talked about, but we are having mashed potatoes the night that I make chili. My in-laws do this. I had never heard of this until I started dating my husband, but they make mashed potatoes when they have chili. And then um, a lot of the family members like to put their chili on top of mashed potatoes. And although I thought it was weird when I first saw it, I now find it to be delicious. They also have Fritos. So then it's like mashed potatoes, chili, and Fritos. Tell me if you've ever heard of such a thing. It's delicious, but I never would have put it together myself. It's very carb heavy. White bread for white bread things. Grilled cheese, toast, egg in a hole. I don't know, you get the idea. And then I have been saying broccoli cheese soup is on my menu forever, but it keeps getting bumped. It's like the easiest thing to bump because I don't have fresh anything that goes in it, so I can bump it from week to week, but I will be making it this week. It still sounds really good. And I just got one of the take and bake French baguettes. My Aldi haul, it cost me $38.52, and now I have to take care of it. Okay, so we also went to Costco this week to grab a few necessities. Since I didn't get pork at Walmart, I got this from Costco. I got tip roast. It was only $1.99 a pound. It is sold in like this four pack. I got the smallest one I could. We don't need a ton of meat per meal, but I'm able to get four meals out of this for less than $14. So I consider that a pretty good deal for a meat. I have, so I can make pulled pork basically four times out of this pretty good in my opinion. Cheez-Its and Goldfish. This is one of the main drivers to going to Costco this week. My girls are actually able to go to school two days a week in person next week and they can bring a bag of snacks. So they're, they like Cheez-Its and Goldfish as an option. I got paneer. When I make butter chicken, I like to also sometimes make a vegetarian with the butter chicken sauce without chicken and I use paneer instead. This is very yummy, and my husband actually, last time I made butter chicken, said I should make the paneer version again. So while I'm at Costco, I got the paneer. I don't know when I'll use it, but this is like a sell-by date of January 16th, and then I will cut probably a third of it and then freeze it in two-thirds sections so I can get three meals out of this. It's about $8, but it's worth it for three meals. I wanted to buy some bulk coffee beans. I really enjoy grinding beans as I make a cup of coffee every morning. As I'm fasting, coffee quality is a little more important to me since I am only having coffee or water for most of my day. And I wanted to give this a try. I already like the Peru coffee from Aldi and I really was a sucker for the packaging on this one. I was going to buy the Big B coffee, which I know I like from Costco. It's a Michigan company. I don't know how many states have Big B, if you guys are familiar with that, but I saw this and was sold. So I'm excited to give this a whirl. And then my 10 year old was with me and she used her own money to buy this, but still it added into my total. So this is what I got from, so this is what I got from Costco tonight and my total was $57. Okay, our money for the week, I'm making a Wendy's copycat chili with mashed potatoes. I have pulled pork sandwiches with mac and cheese, coleslaw, and probably frozen french fries. Um, crock pot broccoli cheese soup with some homemade crusty bread. I'm going to make homemade corn tortillas and then ground beef tacos with probably chips and salsa or rice. My daughter turns nine this weekend and for her birthday she is having two friends over to the house and she wanted to have spaghetti and meatballs and then we're gonna make some breadsticks. We will have leftovers, whatever's left, and I'll probably do a 500 calorie down day that day. 
I'll eat 500 calories. And then on Sunday, we are having a birthday dinner for my daughter at my in-law's house. And the only thing I have to bring to that is a punch. So I got off really easy. I mentioned to you that I need to make ground beef to have our tacos this week. If that sounds yummy to you and you want to know how my taco meat really fine like Taco Bell's, you can check out this video right here where I share with you exactly what I do to make it so fine. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.